let's get game number three going. This will be the final game. Unless we see an extension call, of course. Let's look at this. I see walls. I see a lot of scouts. I see a lot of llamas, rhinos. One TC this time. But that's a lot of scouts. Four scouts. Palisade gates. And Goths for teal. Portuguese for red. Okay, so this is completely walled off. We have gold in the back, a lot of gold. Even more gold here for red. Um, what else is... Oh, it's sudden death. Yeah, the flags are here. So, which means that... Players cannot add in any more town centers, and if they lose this town center, they die. Both players and resources are looking pretty much the same. Ooh, my god. Sudden death with Gaia Petards. Sudden death Gaia Petards. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? And Rats here getting the first Petard. Let's see if we can find some more. No, it's just lion over here. Rhino, lion. It seems that there are only two Gaia petards as far as I can see. Oh no, there's three here. Red already getting two of them. Red already finding two. And there's one over here, which only Teal can get to. So if Teal does a bit more of scouting, I think both of them could get two. Gaia Petards. Uh, scratch that. Red already has three. So red already has three. Let's look at the scouting from Teal. So there's one over here which you can scout and they're probably going to find the Petard over there. If he goes this way. Come on Teal. Send one scout. Oh, he's not sending a scout. Oh and even more. Red is finding all of them. Red is finding all of them. Let's look at the scouting. Look at the red scouting. He's doing a lot of scouting. I think he's a bit lucky with how he is finding them, but still. Already has three of them. Well, four if he can keep this one alive. And that's so huge. Like, in this point, would it be worth it to go heavy aggressive with the villagers? Go with villagers, try to batter down the palisade gate with the villagers and the scouts, and then send in the petards to take down the town center. I think you only need four or five. And now Teal here will find his first Gaia Petards. Not finding this one. And yeah, we're unable to get to that spot. So I think that were all of them. Let's see how the Petards are going to be used. Rhino being lured in from red might lose the villager if he doesn't garrison. Garrison! Gar oh, there we go. Garrisoning just in time. Teal doing the same thing. He did lose one. Did he lose a scout or a villager? Or... Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what he lost. He did lose one unit. I presume it was a villager. Oh yeah, there we, there we see it. A villager while luring the rhino. Let's check here how this lure is going to go. Not going to be good for him. Garrison, Garrison. Oh my god, losing two villagers. Two villagers going down. And look, Teal using the petards to destroy a palisade wall. That's only 250 HP. I think that's a waste of the petards. And yeah, Teal. Minus two villagers, unfortunately. Not looking too good for him. Not looking too good. And yeah, like you say, a transport, that could also work. If you make a transport, you could drop them off over here, run underneath the town center and take it out if Teal is unable to respond in time. Let's see what Red's plan is. Doesn't seem like he's going aggressive with the petard, unfortunately. Yeah, that's true. I mean, do they know it's sudden death? It's in the rules, so they should know if they read the rules, but... 
We don't know that for sure. Okay, another rhino being lured in quite nicely from red here. Not re-walling. I would have re-walled here since there are like four scouts that are running around. Okay, let's maybe talk about the civilizations now. Keep in mind, it's one town center only, so can't really boom up. I think that's probably in favor of the Portuguese. Portuguese stronger civilization here, especially since they have strong hand cannons. And yeah, Teal being the Goths can only go for infantry. And look at this red, might go aggressive here. Red might go aggressive with the four petards. Come on, go with the scouts. Going up to Feudal Age. Teal, what is Teal doing here? There's one scout from Red. Where is Teal going? He's going to make a lumber camp so far away. Yeah, he's going to make a lumber camp all the way over there. Still has these idle. These have been idle for quite a long time. Red going for barracks. So what he wants to do is he wants to try and kill like a piece of the wall or the gate with his units, like with the scouts. And since he's in feudal, he might add in a few spears, I presume. And then try to send in the batards. There's not a lot of villagers underneath the town center at this moment. Also no farms. Let's see, what's he doing at home? Bit of idle time, three fields and golds. The woods line. Yeah, it's the forward wood line. Oh, this could be bad. Send the petards back. You don't want to lose them. No, Red. Don't lose the petards to scouts, please. Or is Teal just going into his base? Yeah, he also didn't revolt. So Teal might go straight into his base. Uh oh. Uh oh. Red. Revolt, 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 revolt. Oh, there we go, rewalling just in time. And now, use the scouts, pick up the petard from Teal. Yes, there we go. Making the petard explode, causing it to not destroy the walls. He does have the spearmen to deal with the scouts now. And I think this is looking really good for Red here. He still has four petards alive. And he's adding in ranges. Four Petards to 2,100 damage. Ah, oh, just not enough. It's a shame. Just not enough. Let's see, Blacksmith Market from Teal. Ouch. Fast Castle. What will the Castle Age give him? I don't understand why he would Fast Castle here. What will you go for in the Castle Age at Goths? Will you go for Knights then, I presume? Oh no, don't waste the petard on the palisade wall. Come on, guy. Palisade is so weak. Yeah, we're not going to see a DC snipe. Um, but yeah, it's looking really good for Red. Oh, two ranges. He's inside the base. He can snipe the villager on the gold. He does have a bit of vision though. Let's quickly check his line of sight because he was in sight with some of the scouts. Oh no, he only made it to this area. Come on, go aggressive, man. Like, he has the army for it. He really needs to go aggressive. Don't want to wait for too long. Deal up to the castle age. Oh, he knows it's... Look at this. He knows it's sudden death. He knows. He's walling in his town center with houses because he does not know how many petards Red has. So Teal, he knows what mode this is. And that's a really smart move. Of course Red only having three petards, not enough to take down town center. But Teal does not know that. Teal does not know that. Only thing he's using all houses, I would have made like a gate because now uh, he cannot send out his villagers. But yeah, look at this here. 
killing the archers, killing skirmishers, killing scouts with the town center fire. Rats kind of throwing away his army. And, ooh, Teal buying 400 stone? Is he going to castle drop? Or was that the bug in the overlay? Oh no, it's Sienbar. Yeah, Sienbar buying 400 stone. 490 stone. Still not enough for castle. I think he is going to try and castle drop. Red? Or will it be a defensive castle? Deleting all the houses again. Yeah, that's why I would have made walls. Because that's a lot of wood wasted. And as you can see, this is the problem with going fast castle. He does not have any army. He cannot really fight this at the moment. Even if he makes a stable and a few knights. There's there's nothing he can do in it against this army. 12 versus 0. Buying more stone. 738 stone. Where is he going to make the castle? Aggressive or defensive? Oh, unfortunately. Unfortunately, it's going to be a defensive castle. But I mean, if he has a castle, he can make more petards. Red throwing a maze archer to the DC fire. Doesn't know about this wood line, which is lucky for Teal. Okay, castle did go up. Let's keep this point of view to see if he makes uh, Huskarls or petards. I think you could try to go for a petard snipe, but it's more risky. I think with sudden death, um, like a fast imp into like trebuchets or bombard cannons could also be really nice. But of course, then you're leaving yourself exposed in the early game here, like Teal is. I don't know. Let's quickly check Red's resources to see what he's up to. A lot of farms for Red. Look at that. 400, 500 food, 300 gold, a lot of stone. And he's going to build a market, I presume. Yes, markets. And this food eco seems to be a bit better there. So Red also going for a castle, I think, since he's on stone. But will he be an aggressive castle or a defensive castle? I think he could still sneak around this way. If he goes this way, or with a transport, or if he sends villagers to bear down the walls, he could go in line to here and build like a castle on this section. And if he builds a castle here, it's in range of the TC. And then Teal has nothing to defend versus the castle fire from Red. Now Red on the way to the castle age. On the way to the castle age. And he will also have enough stone for a castle. Deal not looking too good. Buying the villagers. No army. No resources. Ay ay ay. It's making huskarls. Okay, so he's going for huskarls instead of the petard raids. I think huskarls is the safer option. But of course, it won't win him the game unless he tries to go for like. A DC snipe with horse crawls. I think you could try that if you get like all the upgrades with arson and some of the attack and defense upgrades. What is Red going to do? Red going aggressive with the villagers. Let's go to his point of view. Where is he going to make the castle? Sees the fog of war. Staying away from the palisade walls. Red, where are you going? He's going for an aggressive castle. That that's that's sure about that. I mean, but where is he going? Okay, scouts could take down the palace side wall. I mean, it's only two hundred fifty. Don't make it here, please. Don't. Don't. No. That's not really a good spot. I don't see why the castle over here would give him. 
It will not protect him at home. Why? But why? Why? What is this castle doing? This castle... Lucky for him, it's a 9, the gold. But he doesn't even know the gold is here. I don't like this castle spot at all. Because now, deal. Oh my god, look at this. Didn't even quick wall in the villagers. Let's go to quick wall in one vill. And he's going to lose all the rest. Oh, Red, what are you doing? This castle does absolutely nothing. Like, in sudden death, if you go for an aggressive castle, I think it has to be in range of the opponent's town center. Or else you just have to go for a defensive castle. Because now, Teal has a good amount of Huskarls, and these Huskarls will clean up the knights. And if he can get Arson, he might even go for town center snipes with just Huskarls. Don't understand why Teal is not making a tower to kill this one villager. <laughs> it's going to make one farm over here. What? What is this? Sending this villager all the way around to make one farm over here. Here the Jaguar warrior and the opponent's castle. And he's going for it. But that's not enough. That's not enough for Skrulls. You're throwing away your army, man. I like the idea from, from Teal, but he needs more army. Needs to mess up more Huskarls and get Arson. Because, yeah, these are all going down. Look at HP on the town center. And Red can just repair if he wants to. Oh, okay, sorry, I missed this here. Uh, Teal seems to have gotten inside. And denying the castle at 93%. Sorry we missed that. We're focused on the Huskarls underneath the town center from red right there. Yeah, this is the better option. Just send your Huskarls here, take down the production buildings, mess up your army until you have enough of them to go for a town center snipe. Two barracks, I think you only need one barracks to get the upgrades. Getting chainmail now. Making the farms over here. Outside of his gates. Just because he had that one mill. Even though he could make some farms over here, which would be safer, but. And Red is going to YOLO. Red seems to be throwing away the game here. Why are you going forward? You got zero army. Well, four knights, but. Teal has the army, Teal has the map control, he was attacking the buildings here, and you just sent your villagers to try and walk past? That's not going to work, man, that's not going to work, and look at the KD, 14 to 50. Red was in such a good spot in the Feudal Age, and he just threw away all of his advantage with the castle, and sending all these villagers forwards. Oh, Red. So, uh, what can Red do? Still feel like Imperial Age gives you a lot of options to snipe the T TC from a distance. Could go for ships. Like... Just imagine cannon galleons. Cannon galleons could take out, I think both town centers, yeah. Cannon galleons here, even with the hill. Cannon galleon on the hill. That could be nice to see. And why is he going with all these villagers? Oh, rats. I think he's going to place town center over here somewhere. Oh, he's going on towards that one gold pile. But yeah, on the other hand, Teal just making more and more Huskarls. More and more Huskarls. He just needs Arson. And I think he has almost enough to snipe the town center. I think he almost has enough. But Red at that point has an army of his own. Few knights and men and arms to kill the Huskarls. So Teal just take down these buildings first. 
take down the buildings, adding in a few pikemen, that's a good idea, adding in a few pikemen to fight versus the knights. Let's look at two, two barrack pikemen and those girls. Economy, a few more villagers since Red threw away so many of his villagers. Look how fast the side gate goes down. Iron casting coming in now. I think personally I would not go maybe in this way. I would maybe make a gate here and go from the left side because Red would not be expecting that since all the military production buildings are over here. Not a good fight for Teal, not a good fight at all. He has the more numbers, but Red having the hill. Oh, but he's calling it. He is calling it. Yeah, he will lose, but I think that was still a decent fight for Red. Look at this. Even saying good luck in the next round. Really nice guys here. And yeah, I think... I don't know, man. This game was so, so strange. So, so strange. Petards, we saw Petards. We saw Doubt Castles. We saw Red dominating in the Fuel Age. And still not being able to win the game. He hasn't called a GG yet. Oh, there we go. Stream ended. And that means that Teal will take the victory here. 2 1 victory for Cianbar versus Morley. This was probably one of the craziest and strangest games we've seen so far in this Red Cup. Look at this kill death ratio, that's insane. 76 to 24 for the army. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point here, when Teal went for Fast Castle and Red was still in the Fuel Age, he had such an advantage. Look here, he had all the army, he was denying the economy from Teal. But, yeah, he just threw it away. He just threw it away with that poor castle placement. That's so unfortunate. I think, since he had the upper hand here, I think it would have been better to place the castle defensively. Defensive castle. And since he's Portuguese, just try to get a bit eco going. Try to get the game to the Imperial Age. And then he has way better units to deal with the Goths.